Good morning. I just got back in town super late last night. It's eight o'clock right now. I have to work out today because I ate like absolute shit all weekend. It's so hard for me to eat healthy whenever I'm out of town because you want comfort food and like airport food is just trash. So like it's so hard to find healthy options sometimes. I feel so bad for people who are like vegan, gluten free, stuff like that because we're so lucky in LA. There's so many options and so many healthy food places. Whereas whenever you go out of town, you know, you don't know the places. It's especially hard in like the Midwest and the South because it's all terrible foods anyway, even though like they're right favorite foods I love them so much I definitely hit up Texas Roadhouse and ate my entire weight in rolls while I was in Florida so that explains why I'm not feeling too good today but last night I don't know if I'm ready to make the announcement yet, actually. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I think that I'm about to leave to go on tour with one of my clients in two days. So she asked me to come out on the road with her for the summer a few weeks ago, and we were just kind of figuring out logistics. And then last night, her and I were texting, and she actually asked me again if I would be willing to come out just for the first and last week. And if I do go, it starts in a few days, which I'm kind of stressed about. Today's Tuesday, and the first show is on Friday. So I'm sure, you know, we'll have to go there a day or two early, which, like, girl, I'm not ready. I just just got back last night there's so much that goes into touring which I will get to later I'm gonna go on my hike and then afterwards we're gonna go to Urban Outfitters because I definitely need to buy an entire new wardrobe for tour if I am gonna go so we will check back in soon <laughs> It's out of focus! I just got done shopping and I bought so much stuff for this tour. So I'm gonna show you guys whenever I get home. There's someone waiting for me to pull out, but I wanna talk to you guys. I wanna vlog for a sec. We're gonna have to put this on pause. I went to Dry Bar and got my hair blown out because you guys know I don't wash my own hair. Okay, running around LA like an absolute madman right now, but I'm in the line at McDonald's because I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today and it's three o'clock now. I power shop I bought so 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 much stuff because it's really hard to do laundry whenever you're on the road so I wanted to just get tons of stuff plenty of underwear bras everything like that so that I'm not really having to wash clothes in between days I just have like enough for the entire tour literally I was at dry bar like making appointments responding to emails that's when everything started to get confirmed like an hour or two ago and with my luck I'm about to run out of contacts in like a week and I'm gonna be on the road and I need to see I was able to get an eye appointment at Target so thank God for that because otherwise that was gonna be a really big issue and then also my amazing angel of a Botox lady was able to get me in as well today thank God because girl we got to fix this before we get on the road I planned on doing all of this stuff next week but obviously I'm gonna be gone now so I'm so thankful to everyone that's squeezing me in today oh and then also tomorrow I have a laser hair appointment which I'm so happy that they were able to get me in as well because I planned on doing all of this stuff before I go home to Missouri next week I thought I had plenty of time and then I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. I thrive on tour. Like I, oh my God, tour is my favorite thing in the absolute world. It is literally like an adult summer camp. Like it's so fun and you make so many amazing memories and just get so close with all of the people and the band and the crew and everyone that you're on tour with. You're just like a big family and it's so great. And I'm really excited that we're going with Machine Gun Kelly too. I love him and his music so much. So I'm super hyped about that. Okay, I'm about to pull up to McDonald's. I'm gonna scarf down my food. I have to rush across town to Melrose, freeze my forehead. I literally, I don't even know if I'm gonna make my eye appointment, but fingers crossed, I'm gonna try. This car in front of me is ordering so much food or something. I don't know what's taking me so long. I need my Dr. Pepper though, we gotta go. I'm here with Tatavik. I just got my Botox. We did it in my forehead. We gave a little brow lift in the chin. Mm -hmm. And what's the chin do I want to hear? You like tell everyone because I didn't even know that you could do Botox in like your chin and around here and stuff like that. I thought it was just your forehead. What happens with the chin? There's a mentalis muscle. It has two bands like this. People make expressions. It could cause dimpling as they're speaking or even frowning. We want the dimpling to stay, but we don't want to completely have it so prominent where she's speaking and it's causing that the the orange peel effect. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like a little yeah. orange peel. You want to demonstrate? So that is what we're addressing. As you can tell, she has a very strong mentalized muscle, so we're calming that muscle down just a test so she has a softer appearance to the chin. So excited! I love Tatavik and her sister so much. I've been going to them for so long. Before I found her, I went to this other girl and I got completely botched and I've made like a vow that I will never see anyone other than Tatavik because she just slays every single time. They're so nice, they make me feel at home and so comfortable and I never feel pressured to do more or 
spend a ton of money or anything whenever I go, which I really like as well because I've definitely been some places where they like, you need this and this and this and like just trying to sell me on everything and she's super, super honest. There have been times where I'm like, I want my lips bigger and stuff and she's like, no girl, like we're not doing that. She's very honest and will tell it how it is and not let you do things that you're gonna regret later, which I really, really appreciate. I feel like that's so rare because everyone's out there trying to get their bag and she's like really looking out for her customers more so than selling you on stuff, which I love. I just got back from running all of my errands, doing all of my appointments, and I wanted to give you guys a little haul of what I bought today. From the store Garage, which I actually kind of discovered recently and I really like their pieces. They have my favorite sweatpants. These are just the boyfriend joggers. I also really love their 90s jogger. It fits so good. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with their sweatpants and I feel like they're a really good length. I'm not even that tall, but I feel like a lot of sweatpants come like up above my ankle and I like them to be lower unless I'm wearing like tall socks or something. So I got those. These are my favorite cargo pants ever. I have these in a beige pair and I'm obsessed and they've been out of the black for a really long time, but they had them today and I'm really excited. Super comfy, super lightweight. They're cropped at the ankle. It makes your waist look so good because it just like hits at the perfect spot where your waist is like a little smaller and then it gives you that like nice curvy hip effect. And then I also just got a pair of beige sweatpants and then one more t-shirt from there. I like how I don't even read any of these t-shirts. I'm just like, oh, that's cute. Like grab it. National Parks. And of course, would it be an Alexis Oakley haul if I didn't go spend unnecessary money at Sephora? So I bought two foundations. These are both the Armani Luminous Silk Foundations. You guys know this is one of my favorite foundations of all time. I just got the smaller bottles because I want to try and save room and not take up too much space and weight in my bags as well because there's a lot of flying involved so I don't really want my bags to be overweight. So I just got two different shades of these because I'm not for sure. I haven't seen her in a minute. You know what I just realized? I still haven't given away who I'm going on tour with yet. I feel like this is the perfect time because I feel like these next three products are really going to give it away. We have this Natasha Denona palette. I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows so much. They are the most pigmented, beautiful, buttery eyeshadows eyeshadows like ever. They're so good. This is the glam palette. This is just a lot of dark grays, silvers, sparkles, some blacks in there as well. And then I also just got a mini Natasha Denona palette. And this is just the mini Xenon palette. This one has like the darker blacks, grays, silvers. This next one might help too. This is a caviar stick from Laura Mercier. In tuxedo, another black smoky vibes. I'm about to reveal who I'm going on tour with, but I want you to pause this video, comment below right now, just by seeing those products, the shades that I have. Who do you think that I'm going on tour with? I feel like I've really hyped this up. You guys, I am going on tour with Avril Lavigne. I'm so excited. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I toured with her years ago, back in like 2019, I think, right before COVID. It was so much fun. I love working with her so much. She's so sweet and so kind, and she puts on a fucking show. Oh my God, she sings all the throwbacks that we know and love. Complicated, Skater Boy, Girlfriend, what the hell? Like all of those old songs. I literally grew up on, like I wish I had this video, you guys. I had a hot pink karaoke machine in my room, and I forget what they were called. I'm gonna look it up in just a second, but it was one of the like today's top now whatever album, but it was a karaoke version. I forget the rest of the songs that were on this album, but I remember my top two songs on it were Girlfriend and Suddenly I See, and I sang my little heart out to Girlfriend whenever I was in fourth grade. I actually had a boyfriend in fourth grade, and I don't think I really understood what the song was about because I remember so vividly making my friend, like we would always just film music videos and we wanted to be famous and like be pop stars and go on tour one day. It's kind of crazy because I wanted to go on tour as a singer back then, and girl, I can't sing for shit, but it's crazy because I'm now going on tour and still living my dream in a different way that I never thought would happen back then, if that makes sense. But we were always making music videos and putting on concerts and shows and stuff in my bedroom. And I remember having her film me singing Girlfriend to my boyfriend. Like, and I was singing that song too. And like I said, I don't think I understood what it was about because it's literally like, hey, I don't like your girlfriend when it was like, I am your girlfriend. So I don't think I knew what that song meant at the time, but I loved it so much. So it's so wild having the opportunity to work with someone that I've literally looked up to and loved and been a fan of my entire life and it's so cool and I'm so grateful to Avril and her team for choosing to book me and work with me again I'm really excited and I know it's gonna be so much fun and of course I'm gonna bring you guys behind the scenes as much as I can and vlog the tour as well which I think will be really fun and exciting because Urban literally takes every penny that I have so this t-shirt it's a men's shirt and I just thought this was so cute I honestly have no clue what this says what band is anything let's see Stephen Miller band keep on rocking me baby 
period. Let's go, Stephen Miller. Big Stephen Miller fan over here. I thought this shirt was super cute, and then I got these shorts to maybe go with it. They're kind of like this 90s style champion shorts, and I love that they have the cute little logo down there, and I feel like they match really well. I bought a lot of colorful clothes today, which was probably so stupid of me because you have to wear black on show days, so but whatever I also got these light blue champion shorts I got enough oh my god I did not realize this was sleeveless I don't like that as much but I got this band tee and then since it's an Avril Lavigne tour I thought that this was so fitting this belt with like my camo cargo pants or something I thought this would be really cute and very Avril Lavigne early 2000s I got quite a few band tees so here's the other ones oh this is a really cute little cropped Ed Hardy shirt I thought this was so cute and very Y2K from Nordstrom I got a black pair of high top converse I've been wanting to get high top converse for a really long time and I feel like every time I go they're always sold out in my size and they had one pair left so I had to snatch these up and then I just just got some bras and underwear from skims because I'm so obsessed with skims and I think I bought like five pairs of the bras hopefully I won't have to do laundry while I'm away that's the goal at least fingers crossed and then lastly I just went to lululemon and I bought two pairs of the align leggings and then I also bought two pairs of the align biker shorts which those will be really great for show days because they're black and then I can just pair it with like a black t-shirt or a hoodie or something like that obviously it's in June and July so I'm sure it's gonna be really hot in some of the cities so I just wanted to be prepared with the leggings and the shorts and everything that's the the hard thing with tour two is packing you really only get like one maybe two bags and you have to fit all of your shit that you're gonna need like the longest tour that I was ever on for a period of time was I think three or four months three and a half months something like that and just imagine me an overpacker as is trying to pack all of my shit into one suitcase to be gone for three to four months in so many different cities you're in California you're in Canada you're in New York you're in Florida you're in Colorado like you're literally traveling all over so you have to be able to pack for all seasons all occasions and obviously you can go shopping while you're on the road but it's like where are you gonna put it you've got one bad girlfriend like where are you gonna put it you just don't have much space like literally you live in a bunk bed cubby and I am so excited to show you guys these cubbies that we sleep in comment down below what other questions you guys have about tour because I'm definitely gonna be spilling all the tea showing you guys a day in the life where we eat where where we sleep what we do on our off days everything like that and I think it's gonna be really fun because at least as far as I know I've never seen someone vlog on YouTube a day in the life on tour or showing the behind the scenes or anything like that so I think it'll be really fun and exciting obviously with TikTok being a thing now and so many bands and musicians being out on the road again I've definitely seen more day in the life on TikTok I have so much to do you guys I need to go start some more laundry I want to know do you guys do this or is this just a me thing like I cannot wear any of these clothes that I just bought until I wash them whenever you go shopping do you have to wash your clothes before you wear them or will you just buy the clothes and then throw them on and like not have an issue with it I don't know maybe that's just like an OCD control freak type of thing but I have to wash every piece of clothing before it touches my body and now baby bay is trying to play in all the bags so I'm gonna take that as my cue to stop I'm gonna go unpack from my Florida trip I'm gonna go and unpack from my Florida trip and then repack for my tour. Hey vlog! So me and Ellen are here right now and we're about ready to start packing and getting everything ready right now. We're just going through all of the PR that I've been sent over the last... <laughs> I swear, the second the cameras turn on, she thinks that she needs to like have her moment. Oh, just sweetest. I'm gonna miss you. We're going through all the PR right now. I hate nothing more than leaving my house a mess and just feeling like there's so much to do and unorganized and stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through all of this right now before we start packing. Baby Bay, she loves to help. Okay. You're joking. All right, girlfriend. Do you think that would fit in here? Um. Or is that like know. way too big? For tour, I don't really have a ton of space to set up all of my makeup products and stuff like I would in LA because usually in LA we're glamming in huge rooms like this. But whenever you're on tour, most of the time we're doing the makeup on Avril's bus or we're doing it in a hotel if we have an off day. But I feel like most of the glams for this run will be on the bus so there's not a ton of room and space. And then obviously we'll do touch-ups backstage and stuff but it's very small back there. So we try to take up as little space as possible. So I'm gonna really try and keep everything that I'm gonna need the entire tour only in this bag, which we'll see if it's possible. I honestly think we might be able to do it. You call me for one last day. I love this Jouer eyeshadow palette so much. This is the Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows Palette. Unfortunately, they don't make this anymore, but this is so pretty. And they have a lot of really good, like, shimmery silvers and, like, darker grays and stuff like that, which obviously is very Avril. Uh. Pretty much. 
much done. It looks so clean and nice and organized. This is literally my wet dream, is having a perfectly clean and organized. On top here, we have all of my brushes that I'm gonna be using. And I tried to kind of organize them by types of brushes. So over here, I have like my concealer brush. These are blending brushes, flat brushes for like the lid, more blending brushes, and then some face brushes as well. She really doesn't do much to her face. Pretty much all we do is her foundation, a little bit of cream contour, and cream highlighter as well. So it's super simple for the face. It's mainly just about the eye. Down here, we just put these plastic dividers. So in this one, I have all of my face products, our Armani foundation, MAC face and body, NARS concealers, Clay de Peau concealers, MAC concealers. And then for powder, I just brought a mini Charlotte Tilbury press powder and a little mini Laura Mercier powder as well. Oh my God, my nails need to be done so bad. That's so embarrassing. And this one, I just have some single eyeshadows, a gel liner from Inglot. That is my favorite gel liner of all time. It is so good and just the darkest, deepest black ever. And it stays put, like literally, you put that liner on and that line is not moving. It is staying there all night which is great mints brush cleaner her moisturizer and then black duo glue as well I really like to use the black because it doesn't smell as bad literally the white clear glue smells like vagina I had to say it. it's so gross and over here we have my little mini Huda Beauty obsessions palettes which I love these are really great because there's so many different shadow options and they're really small and don't take up that much space so over here we have all of the colors we might need I have this metal palette which I like to put my foundation on whenever I'm doing my clients skin usually I'll put the moisturizer and the foundation on there and then we can just pull it and then at the top there's a few eyeshadow palettes that fit and these are gonna be kind of my go-to palettes I feel like that I'm gonna be using for almost all the look and then I have a separate bag which I'll show you guys in a second as well that has more eyeshadow options and more backup products as well and over here I just have a pencil sharpener and then these little mini Neutrogena makeup wipes as well plenty of q-tips this is the Tom Ford shade and illuminate this is our favorite cream contour and highlighter this product is so good it's expensive but I'm telling you it's so worth it and it's very natural which I like as well over in this set bag I just have some more eyeshadow options honest wipes I love their makeup wipes and their hand wipes literally one of my biggest pet peeves whenever I'm doing makeup and you can ask my assistant this I'm constantly like wipe 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 I need a wipe literally I hate the feeling of makeup on my hands so much it just gives me the egg so I'm constantly having to wipe my hands in between steps because it just drives me crazy how many times do you think while I'm doing makeup I ask for a wipe and at least like at, like, least. at least after mascara after foundation <laughs> She knows the system though at this point. I'll look at her and she's like wipe like she has them ready at all times because I'm just like I don't know if it's an OCD thing or like what it is exactly but I also I have a weird thing with like feelings like I can't wear certain clothes because I hate the way it feels. This is her favorite mascara. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash so we're gonna get one of those right now. I want to find stuff for my personal skincare so that I can condense it. They're serums so I feel like maybe a bottle like this. I'm gonna get these little squeeze bottles for my personal skincare. I feel like these will be perfect and I love how tiny they are too it's so nice six plus lashes I have on my list oh lashes let's yeah. look at lashes the 113 because they're a little longer and obviously with the black smoky eye it, like you need a long stronger lash i think we got all of our stuff we got some different brow products we got the mascara we have some lash options hand sanitizer like all kinds of stuff so i feel like we should be good there that's so crazy thank you we're at Namie's right now getting a few more products. So basically Namie's and Nigel's in LA are where you can get discounts on makeup products, which is really great. You only get discounts if you're a pro makeup artist. They have all of the brands that we know and love, Makeup Forever, MAC, NARS, Laura Mercier, everything like that. And you get up to 40% on all of the products, which is so iconic and great. It helps me save a lot of money. We're at Target now. We have a few more items to pick up really quickly here. My favorite place, I spend way too much money here. You know the trip is about to start when you're getting all the minis. I think we're done by everything finally but I'm so stressed I feel like we have been gassing it around town today we have been like putting in work trying to pack we're so close I'm so exhausted I'm so over shopping you guys know my favorite hobby is swiping my card but today I am burnt out so tired I just want to go home and rot on the couch and order chick-fil-a and then I completely forgot I was like oh my god we're almost done we just have to get the Mac fix less and then we're done she's like bitch you still have to pack like, I totally forgot I still have to pack my clothes haven't even gotten that far yet oh also it was so cute whenever we were at night I was like, oh my god, Alexis Oakley. And at first, I always get confused because I think when people say my name out in public, I'm like, I think I know them. She was like, I know you don't know me, but like, I follow you. And I was like, oh my god. She was so nice. And she was like, Ellen, right? Like, you can tell she keeps up. She's like, girl, I saw you tagging Haley Bieber trying to work with her. She's like, did it happen? I tagged her for you. Like, she was so nice. Okay, we just got back. We got all of our stuff from Nimi's and Nigel's. And we forgot to get me hair ties, but obviously I can find hair ties in whatever city we're in. So that's not the end of the world. We just need to now add in the stuff that we bought into the kit. We got her lip liner. This is MAC in the shade Dervish. I believe that's how you pronounce it. We got 
the Stila mascara. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, it was probably like a year and a half ago or something. I was super inspired by one of James Charles videos where he DMs celebrities asking them to pick the makeup products that he was gonna use for his look. So I DM Avril, Jessica Alba, Iggy Azalea, so many influencers, a lot of different people, and they all gave me one product that they loved. I would DM one person and be like, hey, what's your favorite eyeliner? What's your favorite highlighter, foundation, setting spray, tons of different stuff, and I asked Avril for mascara, and this is what she recommended. This has been her go-to mascara for so long, and it's such a good one like this. Literally gives you the most voluminous, fluffy, long lashes ever. It's so good. We got clear brow gel. I also just got one of these duo glues that has a brush, just because this is really nice. If a lash pops off on a corner or anything like that, you can just put a little bit of this and press it back down. I just got one of the Anastasia brow powders, and then I'm just gonna put these hand sanitizing wipes in here as well, just in case we need, because you guys know I love a wipe. And then I also am just gonna bring some of these crystals as well, because you never know. I'm very inspired by Euphoria makeup, obviously, like every other bitch. Also, whenever I'm applying crystals, I really love using this. You can get these on Amazon super, super cheap. I don't know what it is, but this plastic, it just picks up the crystal and drops it so easy. Compared to tweezers, I feel like tweezers just, the glue gets all over them, it makes a mess. That's just so much easier. And then obviously we have our little brush cleaner as well. Let's close this up for good. I think that this is the last thing. I can't believe it. Honestly, I'm impressed that I have an entire kit condensed into one of these small things because you guys should see the kit that we use for day-to-day -day clients in Los Angeles. It is insane. How much do you think the kit weighs? Like 75 pounds at oh, least? At least. At least, Literally. maybe more. Yeah. It's so heavy. It's such a bitch to carry around. But my whole thought process is you never know what someone is going to ask for. And I would hate to show up to a job and then be like, I want to do a green sparkly smoky eye. And then I don't have that. Like you just always have to be prepared for anything. So I always make sure that I have plenty of stuff. Okay. I'm about to start packing my personal makeup. So this is the bag that I'm going to use. Honest Beauty and Jessica Alba actually sent me this. It's so cute. It has a little AO for my initials. Scarlett Tilbury Flawless Filter, one of the best products to ever exist. My NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever to use on myself. I'm bringing the shade medium one and medium four because depending on how often I'm self tanning, I kind of go between. Obviously medium one is me with a tan, but I'm going to self tan tonight. My eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so much. This is the Viseart palette. I've talked about this before. NARS color corrector. I'm going to be bringing my Jouer and Hourglass concealer. I love both of these products so much. Of course, my Rare Beauty blush in the shade Happy. You guys know this is like one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's so good. Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm bringing a brown and a black House Labs liquid liner because sometimes when I'm feeling like a little more natural, I'll do a brown baby wing and then other days where I'm feeling a little sexy, I'll do a black wing. NARS Climax Mascara, my eyelash curler, MAC Strip Down Liner, Tower 28 Almond Gloss because this gloss is just so good. You guys know I love the shade Almond and Cashew. I've been really loving this Refi Brow Pencil. It's so good. Tweezers and scissors. My Jouer Blush in Adore Me. Some powder. Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder. I'm gonna do two different bronzers. I'm gonna be bringing my Laura Mercier Bronze 2 Bronzer, which I love. My MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. Whenever I have a nice tan, this one looks really good and I like that. It's really warm. I love a warm bronzer, not a cool tone bronzer. This highlighter, you guys, this is that bitch. This is from the brand Say Beauty and this is Dew Bomb in the shade Bronze Nectar. This is the most beautiful, wet, glass-like highlighter ever. Recently, I've been more into glass-like highlighters than sparkle highlighters. I have a mini all-nighter spray. I'm gonna bring two beauty blenders just because sometimes it can be hard to clean them. The bus water. So gross. You don't want to brush your teeth on the bus. You don't want to do anything on the bus. Shiseido Benefiance Eye Cream. There's a new one. Ooh, perfect. I love that she just knows where everything is. I don't even know where anything is. I'm like, Ellen, what would I do without you? Okay, so Ellen's going to go ahead and she's basically just going to take all of my serums and moisturizers and stuff and take them from this bottle to a little mini. I'm bringing my vitamins, obviously, because it's super important on the road to take care of your immune system because I feel like it's just already compromised traveling so much and not really having a routine and the schedule and stuff that we're on. So, I love this little pill holder from Amazon. Of course, it's pink, so we're gonna keep all my vitamins in here. We're getting so close. I feel like we pretty much have all of my toiletries, makeup, get ready stuff packed up. So now, it's just onto the clothes in a little bit, but I feel like I'm gonna take a little break in between because I'm so, so tired. Literally, we've been on the move. We left here around eight for work, went and glammed Kels, and then I went straight to a laser hair appointment, and then we came back here, and we've been just like redoing the kit, and preparing, and cleaning, and everything, and then obviously we went shopping, and then now we're back and still packing again but I feel like I definitely need a little break between doing this and packing my clothes because clothes is just like a whole other nightmare in itself too so like I miss you so much you're so sweet